Look at me, Bob. I'm on top of the world. There's something that's being insane. I got something you want here, don't I? I don't want Rising up to the challenge of the mortal in the eye of Stinger. Man! Woo! This feels like showtime every minute to me. I can't help it! Sting, there are very few men in this business that I respect, and you're one of them. They call you the icon, because that's who you are. You're one of the very best. Sting, you've stepped over the line now. You've taken it too far. Everybody thinks you're snapped. I'm not snapped. I just feel good. I just feel good. But in hardcore justice, I'm coming after you. It's strictly business, nothing personal. I got something you want here, don't I? I'm not that yet. Man, you guys are unruly. Get it together, would you? Come on, are we a team or not? Rising up to the challenge of the mortal. In hardcore justice, the man that's going to walk away with the world title is Kurt Angle. This belt is my lifeblood. It is everything that I need right now to right the ultimate wrong. This company belongs to Dixie Carter. It does not belong to Hogan and Bischoff. Losing is not an option for me, Kurt. I can't lose. And hardcore justice, I'm going to walk out with my hand raised. And that's what's real. Rising up to the challenge of the mortal. In the eye of Stinger. There's something about being insane. Hey everybody. All you wrestling fans out there, here are my predictions for the 2011 Hardcore Justice pay-per-view airing tonight, 8 p.m., 7 p.m. Central, live from Universal Studios Park and Universal Land Resort of Orlando, Florida. So we're going to start off with one of the nine matches that will take place on the broadcast tonight, and we'll kick off the show the three-way match of the X Division Championship. Brian Kendrick, who defeated Abyss last month at Destination X on pay-per-view, will be defending the X Division title against one half of the Motion Machine Guns, Alex Shelley, and the person who earned his contract with Impact Wrestling in a four-way match last month at Destination X pay-per-view event, Austin Aries. My prediction for this match is that even though Brian Kendrick is not scared of anything as well as Alex Shelley, Austin Aries is the heel into this going into this match. He's pretty much a bad guy right now, but he is a phenomenal wrestler. And despite what has been happening in recent weeks, how just dominating he is, he will definitely win the X Division and also walk out with the X Division title tonight at Hardcore Justice. You have Fortune versus Immortal, a six-man tag team match. You have AJ Styles, Kazarian, and the Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniels, versus Gunner, the Monster Abyss, and Big Papa Pump, Scott Steiner from Immortal. This is a six-man tag team match. Hopefully AJ Styles and Daniels can settle their issues aside and set their issues aside, as we saw that on this week's Impact Wrestling broadcast on Spike TV, and they can win this match and beat Immortal. But... If that does happen and they just can't settle their issues and put them aside, Immortal will take this one. Mexican America versus Beer Money Incorporated for the Tag Team Championships. Beer Money is the most decorated tag team champions right now in TNA Wrestling, haven't been multi-time tag team champions, but Mexican America are very hungry for those title belts, and they will definitely probably come out of Hardcore Justice with those tag team title belts, as well as Rosita and Sarita, who were the knockout tag team champions, but they lost them to Tara and Miss Tessmacher. But maybe Mexican American gained some gold back with those tag team title belts around their waist tonight when they defeat Beer Money Incorporated. Bully Ray versus Mr. Anderson. The, the bad blood between these two is that they don't like each other. Mr. Anderson regrets Jordan Immortal, and Bully Ray just thinks Mr. Anderson is, you guessed it, an asshole. So Bully Ray will probably win this match as he is the heel and Mr. Anderson is the baby face. So I think Bully Ray will just win this match and Mr. Anderson will give it all he got. But Bully Ray is a very, very one tough SOB. Winter versus Mickey James for the TNA Knockouts Women's Championship. Mickey James is a very tough fighter, one of the most toughest knockouts in the roster right now, but I think Winter 
will probably win the Knockouts Championship if Angelina Love is at ringside. If the referee bans Angelina, Angelina Love from ringside, then Mickey James kind of has the upper hand advantage of possibly defeating Winter for the knockout, to keep the Knockouts Championship. If not, Angelina Love will definitely become a factor in this match, giving Winter the victory. For Mexican America, Sarita and Rosita versus the new TNA Knockout Tag Team Champions, Tara and Miss Tessmacher. This new tag team had emerged, defeated Sarita and Rosita, I believe two weeks ago on Impact Wrestling to win the Knockout Tag Team title belts. So hopefully Rosita and Sarita are hoping to bring back those title belts back to Mexican America. But tonight I think they will be unsuccessful as Tara Miss Tessmacher will keep those TNA Knockout Tag Team title belts. RVD is... <coughs> RV, excuse me. RVD is number two in the Bound for Glory series standings, and the undefeated Crimson is number one in the Bound for Glory series standing. The all-important points will be a factor in this match. It will be very, very big who wins this match. Whoever wins this match will pretty much take the lead in the Bound for Glory series, which has been going on for a month now in Impact Wrestling, and whoever wins the series will get a World Heavyweight title shot and be in the main event at Bound for Glory come Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in October. In this match, I believe RVD will pull a surprise victory over Crimson, and Crimson's undefeated streak will end tonight. Another Baffle Gory series match, the Pope versus Devon. Pope has been pretty much befriending Devon and going over to his family members every single week, flirting with Devon's wife and hanging out with his kids and being cool with his kids, Ter Terrence and Terrell. And Devon doesn't like that. Devon does not want to be Pope's friend, but Pope wants to be Devon's friend. But now the bad blood between these two will come to a head tonight on pay-per-view, and I think Devon will come out with the victory, and maybe Pope, just maybe, Pope will turn heel again in this match, or maybe if he is playing heel or babyface right now, I don't know which of the two he's playing right now, uh, he may turn <coughs> on Devon and really attack um, Devon right in front of Devon's family members. But the question is, when the camera looks at Devon's family members tonight, the wife and kids, who are they going to be cheering for? Interesting question. And then you have, just going back all over the matches here, you have the main event, Kurt Angle versus Sting for the World Heavyweight Championship. This is going to be a very, very big match. This is going to be a must-see match of the year and possibly a match of the year candidate and the century. Every time we've seen Kurt Angle versus Sting, they give it all they got. It's a five-star match. We know that. It's going to be that tonight. And I think Kurt Angle will not come out on top as Sting will win the World Heavyweight Championship and give the company, like he said, an impact wrestling during the contract signing and the closing minutes of impact wrestling this past week uh, that he'll give the... <coughs> company back to its rightful owner, Dixie Carter. And Craig Angle will obviously go back to the Olympics, train for the 2012 Olympics. So those are my predictions for tonight's Hardcore Justice pay-per-view, which will be on pay-per-view night at 8 p.m. 7 p.m. Central, live from Universal Land Resort. And now I'm going to discuss the Impact Wrestling TV taping that will be taking place this Tuesday night, August 9th, 2011 at Universal Land Resort. For all my friends who went the last time a couple months or three months ago to the Impact Wrestling TV taping, everyone received a free TNA Wrestling t-shirt. Despite it being called Impact Wrestling now, TNA Wrestling, they still kind of call it TNA Wrestling, but very, very little and not so often now. It's really pretty much called Impact Wrestling now. They've made those necessary changes to make you think it's called something different now. And Impact Wrestling's motto and catchphrase is Wrestling Matters Again. I want everyone who went to the last taping to wear those TNA Wrestling t-shirts so you can be on camera. Now, if you didn't go the last time, you'll get a free t-shirt this time just after the taping. You'll still be on camera despite whatever t-shirt you're wearing. Just prefer not wearing a WWE t-shirt because the fans of TNA Wrestling can really not like fans who wear WWE t-shirts. They kind of feel like you betray them or something. I don't know. These wrestling fans can be nuts and crazy. The taping is this Tuesday, like I said. Everyone will meet up in front of Blue Man Group, which is located at City Walk. Basically, what we did last time is when we met up at all, Blue Man, all at a Blue Man Group, we stood next to the gift shop stand. So stand near the gift shop stand or just stand in front of Blue Man Group, and I'll spot you guys. I'm going to try to be there at 4 o'clock, and everyone's going to have to meet up there before 6 p.m. Because at 6 p.m., 
we're going to be gone. Somebody from TNA Wrestling will come out and take us up to the soundstage doors. Now, the soundstage where they tape this television show is in Universal Studios. Don't have to worry about purchasing a park ticket. If you're driving with someone and you have to pay for parking, to save some money, if you have somebody just dropping you off, just have them drop you off at the guest drop-off zone. If you're coming in a vehicle, then you're going to have to pay for parking. I don't know how much the parking costs are. It depends what kind of car or vehicle you're driving. At 7 p.m., the taping will start. The taping will go until about 10 p.m., and then after the taping, free shirts and DVDs will be given out to the entire group. Not one person will get a T-shirt and DVD. That doesn't mean everybody is going to get a T-shirt and DVD. Each person. That's not going to happen. Due to the large number that's going to be in the group, they may not have enough T-shirts for everybody. So they'll probably give half of the group T-shirts or the other half DVDs. They're going to try to figure that out, and I'll again answer back from the people at TNA Wrestling. And then there will be some meet and greets with the wrestlers after the taping. I don't know who we're going to meet. It's whoever is going to be available. And for those who are wondering who's going to be there... Hopefully, Kurt Angle will be there. I know he will. The Icon Steam will be there. And the Immortal Hulk Hogan will possibly be there as well, as well as other big wrestling names that you've grown up watching. I have reserved some ringside seats for, the, for those friends who have asked to sit next to me at the taping. Others will sit in the bleachers, which will be taped off for everybody. There is air conditioning inside the soundstage. Not for the wrestlers, though, because they do work under the hot lights. And before the taping, they'll also throw out free stuff before the taping. So make sure you're screaming your head off. And during the taping, they will be coming out and taking random people backstage to meet your favorite Impact Wrestling stars to the loudest fans. So if you're the loudest fan during the taping, they will be bringing people, taking people out of the audience and bringing them backstage to meet their favorite wrestlers. You're welcome to bring fan signs. You're more welcome to bring friends with you. I can bring as many people like as I want this time. There's no limit, as there was last time a little bit. And hope to see you, everyone there. All right? See you then.